thank you, Kalinda, and, and, and really for that personal narrative around what life is like. I remember being a captain in the 6th Precinct in downtown uh, Manhattan, going over to uh, Christmas Street to the park on the pier, talking to some of the young people who, when they decided to uh, talk to their parents about who uh, they wanted to be, and their parents, some of them were thrown from their homes, they were runaways, and I think that you're right, it's a matter of life and death uh, that we are joining this conversation. And I want to thank the advocates here. Uh, you know, Alan, you know, you have been an advocate on for these issues for so long, and this is the city of Stonewall. You know, this is the city where uh, we are proud to, you know, talk about uh, the, you know, how you can live uh, uh, in a comfortable setting and not be harassed, not be abused, uh, not only as adults, but also as uh, young people. And so I'm the mayor of this city, the city of the LGBTQ plus uh, community, as we see uh, people in government and out of government understanding how your voice is respected here uh, in the city. And that's what this movement of Don't Say Gay is about. Uh, this uh, political uh, showmanship of attempting to demonize a particular group or community is unacceptable. And we are going to loudly uh, show our support and say to those who are living in Florida, listen, we want you here in New York. You know, we want you right here in New York City. And it's more than just saying that, it's also standing up and aligning ourselves uh, with the men and women of the LGBTQ plus community and stating that we are in unison with you and your right uh, to uh, have uh, self-identification, your right to be uh, live the lifestyle and live uh, the lives that you choose to live without any form of harassment. And New York values free speech and we value uh, to make sure that people don't uh, feel abused no matter what ethnicity or no matter um, how you self-identify. And this is very important to us and we're, we're proud to be a part of this and we're partnering with, with WPPP uh, to put up billboards in major markets across Florida to let everyone know. We're targeting Fort Lauderdale, Jacksonville, Orlando, Tampa, and West Palm Beach. Uh, we believe we're going to get about five million impressions and they're going to be up for an eight week period period celebrating the diversity and acceptance of New York City. Uh, we will show this in the billboards and the billboards uh, you have here right now. A very clear statement and we're proud of it. Other folks want people to hide their color. We like to show our color and that's the rainbow that's representative of this community. We want to remind everyone uh, that New York City is full of people who will, who will be celebrated now and in the, in the future. Um, and as I stated, this is the city of Stonewall, and we will continue to stand fast and be supportive of this community that has contributed uh, to the diversity of our city. And we believe that this is a city that will always allow that diversity to take place. So thank you, and I'll turn it back over to you. Yeah, Mr. Mayor, um, last week, Governor DeSantis of Florida said something along the lines of New Yorkers, people in high tax democratic states are fleeing and coming to Florida. What do you say in the context of this situation where his state is, according to you, uh, making itself unwelcome to certain people? I, I never thought in my life I would be quoting uh, on a Schwarzenegger, but they'll be back. Steve. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Mr. Mayor, um, a lot of the folks around you right now, last month, were speaking out very forcefully against the, the three hires of, of pastors who had made anti-gay remarks in the past. I want to see how you reconcile those hires with this message, and folks like Mr. Roscoff want to speak to this reconciliation as well. Well, uh, this community, has, I, I think, as the councilman stated, that they have always turned up the heat on topics that they believe are important. I've joined them in many of them, uh, as Alan alluded to, the days on the city floor fighting for marriage. And this is not a community that's going to be silenced. If they see something they don't like, <laughs> they're going to let you know. Uh, but uh, my rich history, as we sat around the room and talked, uh, was former Senator Tom Dwayne and others of uh, how long we worked together. Uh, so we can work through anything, but we would never go to the days where we will publicly demonize a group, and that's what's happening now. 
And so they've always said they're concerned about the hires uh, that we made, and we're going to continue to move forward. And uh, these are not uh, just uh, citizens. Uh, these are personal friends on the fight to deal with uh, the progress in the LGBTQ plus community. Mr. Ralph, would you like to of course, we were very disappointed and outraged over the uh, appointments, but we decided uh, to move on and uh, work with the mayor, who we believe made a big mistake in making those appointments, but there's a lot that we could do together. We, we remembered the mayor's history on behalf of the LGBT community, so we're moving onward. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, Mr. Mayor, Previously, earlier in the press conference, Mr. Ross brought up a list of ideas that he wants you to uh, pursue during Pride Month in schools, putting up these posters and acting more as part of the curriculum. What do you think of those ideas? Is that something you can... I think they're good ideas. We have the uh, record from the Department of Education. I'm sure Alan is going to sit down with them, and those that we can do, we look forward to do. So is it something you, you can commit to right now, one of those uh, ideas? No. <laughs> Next question. Um, you know, obviously spending millions of dollars on this campaign, some people might see a time when you're doing belt tightening the city budget and wonder, how does this benefit New York? You might be sending a message to people in Florida, but is there really any benefit accruing to New York that makes it worth the expense? I just love that question. This is costing New York City taxpayers nothing. Space is donated, billboards are donated, advertisement is donated, Outside people who live in this city that understands we cannot treat people unfairly are standing up the way New Yorkers do. New Yorkers lead the entire country on conscience and what is the right thing to do. So taxpayers are not paying one penny for that and I hope that you report that, that we, it costs us nothing. It's the right thing to do because we're New Yorkers. <laughs> sure. Um, so, on another point, when you met with Mr. Roscoff and uh, other of the LGBTQ community leaders next to you last month, they laid out a list of demands that they wanted you to act on, including creating a city hall office dedicated to LGBTQ issues that we have an actual budget. Do you have any update for us on if you're going to act on any of those demands? Uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> 